Ladies and gentlemen, the listeners and watchers of Sibling Watchery, we have Bob and I literally brag about her probably every other podcast because she literally is that bitch. Amazing. Look, look at her. Look how, how flawless she is. Yo, we have Naomi Smalls in the house. <laughs> Hello. I am, a, I am a cousin, so I am so happy to be here. Oh, my God. Naomi, I cannot I, believe that you are a cousin. We will give you a membership. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess like cousin, yeah, I, I, des- I definitely pay for the Patreon, but cousin, I feel like it's like a state of life. It's like, it's exactly who I am. I stand the dolls, Bob the Drag Queen, and Mama <laughs> Exchange. So I, I'm not a size 14. I am a little bit smaller, but I am very honored to be here to fill the shoes of Roberta Lane, <laughs> TDQ. <laughs> The subtle Naomi Smalls is the queen of subtle shade, bitch. You know, Naomi will read you, and like 10 minutes later, you're like laughing. You're like, oh shit, that was me. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you feel about girl group challenges, Nay, after your two seasons of Drag Race? <laughs> Everybody say love. Everybody say love. <laughs> Woo! Uh-huh. Girl. <laughs> Uh, I have actually, I have very fond memories of my girl group challenge. Um, I think that we really bonded. We that did. was like one of our first uh, at Drag Race experience mm-hmm. bonding moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I I like a group challenge, but there's always someone that has to go home. And as long as it's not me, I'm cool with it. And it's like, you know, never gonna be. So it's, it's okay. Uh, but I think if I had to choose, like, my favorite girl group, it definitely would be Spice Girls. Oh, yeah. A gr- girl group? Spice Girls? Oh, my favorite girl group of all time would probably be 3LW. I will never forget, like, what, eighth grade dance? I'm getting a little tired of it. But I'm from it. Like, 3LW, they were, those are my bitches. I live. I'm actually being really stupid right now. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to be, like, UK savvy. Because, like, and not basic. But... <laughs> De- Destiny's Child, Beyonce. Oh yeah, that <laughs> is the girl group. T T T. Yeah, we just forget that Destiny's Child isn't just Beyonce. Beyonce. I know. I mean, she's saying on the vocals. Uh, so, Christopher Sachi and Teresa are the last to be picked. I think I don't think it's a strategy. I think the girls are looking. They're like Crystal. She can't dance. She was bad in the in, in the Dragaton thing. With well, not bad, but she was the worst. She was a she was the most inept at learning choreo, and Teresa is was not a dancer as well. But Teresa is like, oh, they're trying to, they're not picking me because I'm the best. I'm like, no, bitch, they're not picking you because you're bad. This is not strategy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think that the girls are still mad about Crystal. Like, I think that Rue for some reason gave Crystal a mic to read all these bitches like second episode, mm-hmm. and the girls are still in their feelings about it. We go into the and recording the- session for on the groups. And Charity is going in a specific direction of a character. And I have two thoughts. One thought, I'm like, okay, if you know you can't sing, that's not your thing. RuPaul is always like, make me laugh. So he's probably like, I'm going to do this crazy character so RuPaul can laugh. And number two, I'm like, bitch, you're going you're gonna to stand out so much from, from everybody else. Is that a smart decision to do? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that she even knows what the hell she's doing. Mm. I don't think a lot of the girls knew. Because they, like, they were going up there and then it was like, yeah. Kind of spiral into a different direction. Yeah. But Charity, I feel like this is definitely not her strong suit. But I do respect that she wasn't going to like worry her other teammates with it. T. T. Like, I feel like that's something you go back to your hotel room and you practice and you cry by yourself into your pillow and hope for the best. Oh, yeah, for sure. I thought it was a really cute moment when, when River was up at the mic and they were having like that. What is it? what femme means to me or femme every day like and then him like having his full circle moment i love having those moments on drag race when someone gets to see someone from their past that like sparks like a uh, nerve in them and makes them like all emotional because that was so cute river oh, yeah, is yeah, so yeah. cute river is so cute i really 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 enjoy river i enjoy river's talking heads i like the person i'm getting to know through the camera like i really enjoy river and having this moment with um uh, what's the name w why What's, what's that? <laughs> H, 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 H. H. <laughs> that moment with age was really cute. We go back to the workroom and River has this really, really, really beautiful moment 
about her mom and we've kind of talked about this before on watch for y'all but i could not in i cannot fathom having to get ready for drag race with all the stress <laughs> doing it twice knowing what like what's all involved i cannot imagine getting ready for drag race and your fucking parent just passed away that is crazy so i'm i'm happy that she's telling us like this basically a, a really great story about perseverance and how you got to like push through it was her mom's dream to see on the show and it was a really beautiful moment yeah i absolutely feel for her i feel like that's some grief is definitely not an easy subject to talk about especially when you're like surrounded by everybody else doing their eyebrows and everyone else like fixing their wigs and whatnot yeah. and i mean i've dealt like i've been in that situation where i just don't feel like i know how to articulate that on camera yeah. and like get into that mode and i feel like she's just so real and so authentic that that was probably my favorite way that the show has ever articulated like someone passing and yeah the light that come the light that can come from that yeah, for sure let's get to the main stage and get ready for the performances first of all rupaul looks so cute i love this Ru look me too I, I i really do enjoy like the og legs coming out for it's sure all right, let's get into uh, uh so in, in, in the doc May Jacob also has the lyrics, which we can go, we can take turns reading um the girl's lyrics because like in the moment, like watching it, you're like, okay, this is cute. Then you go back and, and like read the lyrics, you're like, ooh, girl. So first up was what's their name? Is this mm -hmm. is this the Slice Girls, Jacob? Yeah, this is Slice Girls. Slice Girls. Slice yeah. Girls. So up first was the Slice <laughs> Girls, and out the gate was Crystal Versace. Um, her look, I think I, I agree with her. Her look was very cute. Um, she looked, her face was fucking incredible. The hair, which can we talk about all the human hair units we're seeing um, on Drag Race recently? Like human hair is here to stay. And um, Crystal looks amazing. She looks incredible. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's that, it's that face. That the face. face is just right? so It's just boom. Um, let's, these are her lyrics. Sex on legs. She's a face in the grace. Big, uh, tiny waist. I'm fiercer than fierce. I'm the queen of queens. It's Crystal with a K. Just sit back and watch me slay. I think these are good lyrics. They're not like, oh my God, bitch, you better work. But they're, they're good lyrics. Yeah, they're definitely drag lyrics. For but sure. like, they're not like desperate, like, pick me. It's like very, <laughs> it's cute. It's her. Yeah. yeah. I like, is, this, is, it, is it my turn to do charity? Yeah, charity, yeah. Okay, I have no idea the rhythm, so bear with me. Yeah, I, I, I would be fucking the rhythm. I'd just be saying whatever. I, 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 it's Cherry Case. I, oh, I, 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 it's Charity Case. I'm the glamour disgrace, the wicked witch of drag. Have I got snot on my face? <sighs> yeah, I'm a sinner, gonna be a winner. All dressed up, looking like the dog's dinner. I might be a bottom, but it's hard to top me. Come on, Rue, give the crown to Charity. Yeah, what do you think, Day? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a watchery stand, so there's this like definitely Thorgy really summed it up once when like someone does whenever someone comes in, they're like, "Pick me, Rue. I'm fierce. I'm stunning. Pick me. Give me the crown." <laughs> like I hate that shit. Yeah, and I, we only got it. In, we only got it in the very bottom, but. I don't really understand the snot on my face. Yeah, like I'm like, what dinner. is that about? Is to, to be, to be, to be quirky. Like, look, I'm quirky. <laughs> There's snot on my face. Woohoo! I'm quirky. I'm quirky. I'm weird. Very you that. Know, very that. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Scarlet Harlot. Ooh, girl. When I tell you this bitch, bitch, she was a line into her lyrics, and she was like, "I suck." I'm going to go home. Rolling <laughs> eyes. She was like, I'm terrible. Girl. And her look, so she does something with her makeup. Like when it's time to look a challenge. And I'm like, what is going on with your face? I don't know. I, for her makeup, there's a big disconnect for me and I don't like it. And I don't know why. And I feel bad saying that, but like, it is what it is. Um, no, yeah. She definitely gave up like immediately. Yeah, for sure. These are her lyrics. The Cockney Queen is but, in the You know what? Oh, I, I, I did, I did kind of love it. Did you? I kind of loved it. The chaos? <laughs> like, from starting here, like, River, you need to be more confident. You need to show the judges that you are here to, to roll in your eyes, like, 
just like I love a car crash. And if it's like a white twink, I gotta love it even more. You know, sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, <Jacob. laughs> Honestly, that's T because she started this episode like, she, like River, like you don't even want to be here. Like, like, like I, I don't feel it from you. I'm like, bitch, you just won one challenge. You are not like what? Like, where is this confidence coming from? To like seeing her, her whole trajectory throughout this throughout this entire episode is just downhill. You're so right, and that's what she get for being so cocky at the beginning. Yeah. See. Yeah, be cocky, but don't come for the other girl. Yeah, for sure. These are her lyrics. The Cockney Queen is in the house. Scarlet's quiet like a mouse. Am I blank? I'm going in raw. The campus queen, the campiest queen you ever saw. Hungry for more? Well, get this scrub. All you other girls, get out of my pub. Fade into the background. Can't relate. You think you're going to beat me? Pfft. Uh, checkmate. Uh, what is it? What mate? Wait. I fucking nah, mate. Nah, mate. See, I wanted to say checkmate because checkmate would have been a better play on words, girl. Hello, like checkmate, the queen, <laughs> L- London, the king. Like that's because you're a lyricist. <laughs> <laughs> and that was to Miss Kitty Scott Claus. Uh, Miss Kitty Scott Claus. Wait, is this a, is this her name? Like a Spice Girls pun? Did mm-hmm. I miss that in the episode? No, it's Kitty. Kitty's got claws. Like a, like a cat has claws. Kitty Scott Claus. Okay, there was like a mo- there was like a moment in the episode where they were like, "Let's make a joke about slice and spice," and she's like, "Yeah, I've made a career on it." And I was like, "Oh, oh, what am I missing?" Oh yeah, I did, I, did, I, I missed that too then. Okay, lock up your dad, Kitty Scott Claus, dancing around the street, make you wet your drawers. Birmingham, babe, move to London town. Watch out, Huns, I need to snatch the crown. Material girl with the funniest sass, knockers for days, and a real juicy. Hmm. <laughs> bringing the camp to season three, sweetie darling, is all about. I think Kitty slayed it. Slayed it. Slayed, slayed it. it. She did like, such a good job. When I was watching it, I had no idea what she was saying. I loved it. And now that I'm like reading the lyrics, I love it even more. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree a thousand percent. <laughs> and I thought she looked cute. I she the way she beats her mug, bitch, she becomes a doll when she paints, which I'm, no shade, it's gonna sound shady. I didn't expect her to be so dolly. She's gorgeous. Uh-huh. I have to give it up for two things. What? The bitch is always in a flipper, always in a flipper on the stage. <laughs> that, respect. The dental gum or whatever kind of like Kegel mouth you're doing to keep that shit in, work. And then also, she had blue eyeshadow in the challenge uh-huh. because just to, just to be a good friend and tie Miss Charity case in, so it all made sense when, when it really was just so pointless. Yeah. But then she switched the main stage for pink eyeshadow. That shit is so hard and so annoying. So like, y'all, this is I gotta give it. Up. This is the Naomi Smalls mind. Only Naomi Smalls would notice that and think about how because she's right that to change because to go from blue to pink. You have to wipe off the blue. You can't, like, there's nothing you can add to the blue to make it pink. So you have to start with a new eye. So that is gag. Naomi, yeah. I didn't even think about that. And, and, and I'm wearing my flipper now. <laughs> <laughs> Support for Sibling Rivalry is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in below-the-waist grooming and hygiene. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, 4.0. Join over 2 million people worldwide who trust Manscaped with the exclusive offer for you. You guys get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code RIVALRY at manscaped.com. Imagine shaving with a sleek, well-designed, and optimized trimmer that makes shaving time your favorite favorite time in the bathroom y'all know what i'm talking about manscaped sent us the new 4.0 and y'all i am blown away by the performance the craftsmanship and details on the 4.0 are as the tiktokers say chef's kiss this upgraded trimmer includes a multi-function and on and off switch that can engage a travel lock which is important have you ever charged your materials and then they start going off in your suitcase by the time you get to your destination the battery's dead yeah that's fucking annoying but not with manscaped it also gives you the ability to turn the 400,000 k led spotlight on or off when needed for a more precise shave the lawnmower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through additional garn lengths sizes one 
one through four. Did I mention wireless charging? The new wireless charging system uses electromagnetic induction, which can help with battery life and help it last longer. Girl, I am hearing yes, 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 yes. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code rivalry at manscaped.com. Manscaped makes grooming easy. Y'all, once again, you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code RIVALRY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code RIVALRY. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Next, we're going to go to uh, Pick and Mix, and it started with Ella Day. First of all, why does Ella Day look so old in drag? She looks so old. Like, who is this old lady? I think did she just need more makeup? I, mean, I don't. I love the body. The body is great. Love, but something about the, the choices with the hair um, and the jewelry. Also, she's always wearing these big jewelries to cover up her titty bib, which everyone has a titty bib now, apparently. And then, like for some reason, this silhouette is giving me like Jinx Monsoon, like MILF, as opposed to sexy young drag queen. Maybe she likes me to look like a MILF. I don't know. Yeah. I think that she, I don't know if she needs to paint bigger, but she is so expressive with her um, her makeup that everything just always kind of like crinkles right here, and it's not yeah. even so much like she has a wrinkly forehead. It's just like I don't know if it's uh, yeah, I don't know what the solution is there, but work on it. <laughs> These are Ella, Ella's lyrics. Drag mm-hmm. these from the east, Ella of a day. Got BDE, and I'm here to slay. <laughs> Live singing assassin. Keep you gagging. Keep you guessing, babe. I don't know how that even rhymes. Maybe, obviously it rhymes. It's just hard to read it. Never keep your feelings deep inside. Embrace yourself and show your pride. Just stronger than you know. Make every day hell of a day. Uh, okay. Um, I thought it was fine. Again, it wasn't amazing. I thought her lyrics were fine. And she knew her corporeal. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't my best of the group, but it was fine. <laughs> it's Vanity Milan. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Vanity the Milan, Vanity Milan, I'm going to hit the ground running. Don't shy or hide away from nothing. Live your life, do it right. Your skin won't define who you are inside. Never worry about what the people say. It's our life, we'll make it anyway. Say it loud, say it proud. B-D-E, girl, bow down. I like. Yeah, I did too. I liked her lyrics when she did it. She, I, Alexa, I'm not, not talking to you. Jesus. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I know you're totally fine. I love everything except like Beehive Swarm. My least favorite fucking Beyonce song is what's the, whatever the one she says, Bow Down Bitches. I hate that shit. Oh, really? It's yeah. That shit. Girl, you're bow Down um, Bitches. Bow, bow Down. I don't know what's, I, I, I can't think of what song that is. Uh, yeah, see, but I love everything else, and that line, your skin won't define who you are inside. I love that too. Yeah, agreed. That was cute and powerful, and it's nice to see a good moment for her. Now it's Miss River Medway. River Medway. Um, is this a human? Hair? I don't know what this hair was. Not the moment. I think something else could have <laughs> happened to make her look fierce. And again, the titty bib. These girls love titty bibs in the UK. They, they must sell them at Primark because everybody has a titty bib in the fucking UK. <laughs> um, River's lyrics. But, Sorry, go ahead. But this one is botched. <laughs> this titty bib is botched. It's really not. For sure. It's low as fuck. And like, it's, like, it's like light bulb. <laughs> but. And it's gray. <laughs> yeah, it's not her color. Yeah, this titty bib is not the move, River. I mean, what, I, why do, I don't know. I guess after watching season 13 where literally none of the girls wore titties, Candy Muse never wore titties, Simone never wanted to wear titties, I'm happy at least we're getting body this season, which, you know, I love. And, and again, I've said this before. People like to say, oh, you don't need body, yada, yada, yada. Naomi Smalls is literally a fucking model. And almost every look, Naomi Smalls is wearing a fucking corset because it just makes her look like a super goddess diva. Like, it doesn't matter how skinny or how big you are. It just gives you the silhouette. You know what I mean? Anyway. I also just love boobs now. I like a little B cup. Like, now that I've, like, you know, moved past puberty, I'm, I've got a little something. <laughs> River's lyrics. <laughs> Grow up, girls. 
<laughs> the river is here. Everybody dive in. Loving myself from deep within. Femme every day. I'm 24-7. Missing my mama, but I know she's up in heaven. Keep fighting every day. Don't worry about a thing or what people say. That's what I really want you to know. Big drag energy for one and for all. The only thing I would change was that was that last line. Like big drag, like she, she goes, that's what I really want you to know. Big drag energy for one to show or something like that to rhyme with no. Then it would have been A plus, a thousand percent. That last tiny bit on the, on the end of the line kind of took me out of it. But the lyrics are beautiful. Her performance was really heartfelt and I loved it. Yeah, you know, there has to be something to be said about like the fact that she just like left the other girls on the other side of the stage, went right up to the judges, did her thing, looked them dead in the eye. Yeah. Because we know that angle. Yeah. It's not bitch. necessarily straight off. Hello. Like at an angle. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, work. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like that. Same, same. Good job, River. She should have won by herself, but anyway. Okay, <laughs> Teresa May. <laughs> This is my rebellion and this is my chance to take over the world from Spain to UK. My art is of me. You have nothing to say. You're not reedy for Cherism. You're not. Re- oh, wow. Reedy. Why? I can't read. <laughs> You're not ready for Cherisa May. <laughs> and, oh, and now. Okay. Wow. She did yeah, a Spanish she got version. Wild. She but did. it was translated. Uh-huh. The, tra- the, the translated version was. <laughs> And now in Spanish, I'm known worldwide. Tell those tarantulas to stop being bitter. Yes, my accent is thick, but mu- but much more is my BDE. I thought she said my accent is fake, and I really liked that. But it's thick. I don't know. I guess I I, I think yeah. I think she did say thick. Oh, well, lame. I really yeah. wanted to be fake. Fake without that would have been funny. That would have been better. I, I, I think she's really, really funny in moments. Mm-hmm. Like, really, really funny. Like, she says things that I would never even, like... It's not the obvious joke. Um, I... Yeah. This this verse is okay. Yeah. The look is... <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Which team do you think did better, Nay? <laughs> Um, I definitely had the ballad stuck in my head way more. The Same. pick a mix or whatever they were. Yeah, pick a mix. Let's get into these lurks. Chris, I mean, Chris Versace up first. She looks, she, the bitch is fucking stunning. Jesus Christ, she's so pretty. Whew. Crazy. It's, it's crazy. Fucking insane. I love this look. I, I think, think, I didn't know so- the exact reference, and I, but I think it's really cute. And I, I think she, she nailed it, in my opinion. It's really not a super easy task to make something that's like um, really phenomenal on a celebrity or just, you know, like a cis woman and like drag it up and still make it fashionable and still make it like a moment. And I really think the rhinestones were unnecessary. But besides that, this is like so Mm. detailed, so amazing for the real fan, for the real fan, the real girls who care about hair. 42.19, 42.19, I wrote in my notes, clock the pigtails. <laughs> but that's just... <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> D. Yeah, so I think Crystal looks amazing. I think that she nailed it and work. Yeah, go off, Crystal. That fucking face. I just say it every yeah. time. That yeah. fucking face. <laughs> Up to, uh, up to, um, on to Miss Charity Case. <sighs> you go first. A controversial luck, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. I really, I love these moments on Drag Race where someone thinks how it's like, you know that paper we get and it has a little paragraph of what each look is supposed to be, whatever, and someone thinks super uh-huh. outside of the box. It's, this was, to me, so well done done just not for this category like i love yeah, it so much i agree but it does even if she gave me like the buns or something and didn't even have yeah. to be a pro could it like it, something could have like really incorporate i don't know it's just it's a little too off the beaten path for me to fit this yeah 
Um, next up is Miss Kitty Scott Claus, my favorite queen of the season. And now maybe you know Naomi because you know a lot about pop culture. I don't know what this look was referencing, but it doesn't. I mean, because I don't know, I don't get Baby Spice from her. Not even with the hair, but <laughs> Baby Spice liked it. So who who the fuck am I to say no? Yeah, it must be a deep, 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 deep cut. Not because I don't know, because I really don't know that much about the Spice Girls. Just uh, FYI, but yeah, I it just doesn't scream Baby Spice to me. I wish. Uh, but like I don't know what the original look was, but they seem to really, right. really like it. So I yeah. wish it was just like pigtails and then dip dip toned in that pink, like how the hair is, you know. But yes, I agree with that. I I, I could have gone on board with that, even if I didn't know the the, the dress for sure. Next up was Miss Scarlet Harlot, which bitch she looks like Rogue from the X Men is going to a sixties Halloween party. <laughs> I think I did not like. Like this. there's. I didn't, I didn't like it either. And I think there's a huge part of it. Like, I think growing up, especially because I, I'm fluent in white girls. Like I grew up around so many white girls. I just really did. So uh-huh. all my friends in school were like, you know, um, they always typecasting me to be scary. So I have a little bit of mm-hmm. protective about scary. And I'm like, how <laughs> fucking dare you, bitch? How dare you? But it's not like she did anything that was, she didn't wear an afro. She didn't paint darker. She didn't do any. She just looked yeah. a little foolish to me. For some for some odd reason, she just looks a little foolish. But she didn't do anything that was like, um, offensive. If that makes sense. Yeah, for sure, for sure. She looks. You know what? She looks homely. Next up is Miss Sporty Spice Elva Day. I think this is a draggy, cute interpretation of sporty. I like it. Yeah. 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 It was actually, it's very appropriate. I yeah. could have, I could have lived without the push-ups on the stage. Yeah, T. It was a little much with the push-ups. <laughs> she did try to do a, a, and not both. It, I mean, I get it. It's cute. But the ponytail. You cannot wear a ponytail without a nape lace, like 360. You just cannot be doing that. Yeah, I can see all the the prep. <laughs> um, and next up was River Medway. River Medway doing ginger spice. Um, these shorts are not flattering. She's wearing a red pamper, and um, <laughs> is n- not my favorite silhouette on River. Yeah, a higher cut short and just a pump. Just a red pump. Yeah. I know it's Spice Girls. I know there were platforms, but not always literal is the way to go with drag. You know, you got to thumb it up. You got to get the proportions right. And I think from here up is cute. Yes, I agree. I agree with that. Also, why does she go with red shorts when she has on black shorts in the thing? I didn't get why she went with red when she's literally wearing black shorts in the original thing. But go off. Yeah, creative liberties, I guess. <laughs> Next up was, was Miss Vanity Milan recreating that same ch- uh, cheetah look. Okay, Vanity Milan, she she does some things. I just be like, girl, what are you thinking? Number one, why the corset on the outside? Number two, um, uh, scary had leopard. You're an, you're a tiger. Number three, like I, and then she said something about like this this stone encrusted. Uh, bitch, bitch, where? What stones? She said millions of thousands of rhinos. Girl, no. And and she like said it was like executive realness, 40 Spice. I'm okay with never hearing executive realness thrown around anywhere besides <laughs> when it's executive realness. Like, why would it be? Like, mama, I'm selling seashells by the seashore executive realness. Like, no, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. It's one category, and it's for the office. Okay, <laughs> category club. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least was Chorisa May doing ginger spice. And Jacob, as y'all can see, Jacob is so shady. He also has Naomi's flawless ginger <laughs> spice look in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I'm okay. sorry, I can't even look at Charissa and be serious when you, your picture is in here too. I'm, I can't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, Ginger Spice is definitely the most fun and the most, I think, iconic when you're just like looking at them straight on unless you do scary mm-hmm. really well, but no one, yeah. but no one did. Um, so... <laughs> Chorizo's corset, I think, is really, really well made. And I, I think this is actually a great look for her. I would agree. Who do you think was the strongest look? <laughs> the strongest look? Gosh. Do you have yours? Yeah, for sure. Like, we're not, not even thinking about it. Crystal, down. Yeah. I would say Crystal or Ella. Or Ella, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crystal or Ella. But I don't, yeah. I don't, I, what kind of shoe was Ella wearing though? Because that could really be the make it or break it. Ella was wearing a sneaker, like a platform sneaker. Like, like a flat? No, or? it was like a, it was like a little, it was like a, like, a, like a platform sneaker moment. Okay. Yeah, Crystal wins. Let's talk about the lip sync. Um, I thought it was a good lip sync. It wasn't like, oh my God, I don't think it was double Shantae worthy, but no. we got one anyway. No one, no one was terrible. No, they were definitely both just uh, performing. They were, they were doing the lip sync. They were not performing it. They were not calculating the moment of the performance. There was no like factor i think when scarlet pulled out some fucking tissue as a prop she really thought that was going to be like a a moment yeah, like it was going to be yeah. a gift that we were all tweeting the next day but it was not that and then it wasn't. uh charities cha- i don't know if it was i definitely did not look intentional but when her hat started like falling off i was like ah i could have just been like a moment it could it could have been like a you know like uh 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 you know like it's so ah, easy yes! to make that <laughs> Jacob and I are both like, "Wow!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, girl. Still, how many how many queens left? Jacob, fourteen? Uh, no, not fourteen. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, eight queens. They're running through these girls. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I like to see people go home. I really do. <laughs> like, not that. No, especially yeah. I I think I could have seen Scarlett go home just for like the storyline. Like, I for sure she was she was feeling real cute, a little slap in the face, get ready for yeah. all stars and come back real cute. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and this was this episode of Drag Race UK season three episode four. Next week, I'm predicting that Vanity is going home. I think she had a strong week today. But baby, going by these runways, I mean, maybe her talent, like much like Monet Exchange in season ten, will carry her through. Uh, but, but I think Vanity or Scarlet are next. Yeah, I think Vanity really lucked out in a group challenge this week, and mm-hmm. I'm excited to see her when with like a bigger microscope on her because she really yeah. still needs to prove herself to, to me. Yeah, and what does that mean? I'm not making the decision, but that's just me. <laughs> And there you have it, folks, the iconic Naomi Smalls here on Sibling Watchery. You know I love you so much. Bob loves you so much. You're the girl, the woman. I love you. The goddess. I love you, Monet. I love you, Bob. I love you, Jacob. I love you. Is it Jay who's editing this? Yeah. Jay, yeah. (laughs) Jay, I love you too, sure. (laughs) Thank you so much for having me. (laughs) Thank you, sis. Peace. (laughs)